Today, we are diving into the Samsung Galaxy S25 series. With the official unveiling just around the corner next month, there's growing excitement, but also some concern about a potential price hike. Let's unpack why this might happen and how it could even impact the Galaxy S26 series down the line. At the core of the Galaxy S25 is Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, reportedly costing up to $190 per unit. This premium processor is groundbreaking in many ways. It's the first Snapdragon built on TSMC's cutting-edge 3 nanometer process, which delivers incredible performance, but at a steep cost. On top of that, TSMC, the world's largest contract chipmaker, is rumored to be increasing prices for 3 nanometer and 5 nanometer production by 10% next year. This is largely driven by soaring demand for AI chips. These rising costs, combined with the already expensive Snapdragon 8 Elite, could squeeze Samsung's margins, leaving the company little choice but to pass the cost on to consumers. Historically, Samsung has used its in-house Exynos chipsets for Galaxy S models outside the US, Canada, and China. This year, the plan was to equip the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus with the Exynos 2500. However, Samsung Foundry, the division responsible for making Exynos chips, is struggling the production. The main issue? Low yield grades, a percentage of usable chips produced from each silicon wafer. For Samsung's 3 nanometer production, yield rates are reportedly between 20% and 30%, far below the 70% needed for efficient mass production. Producing enough chips under these conditions would require far more silicon wafers, significantly driving up costs. As a result, the Exynos 2500 won't make it into the Galaxy S25 lineup. Instead, Samsung is expected to rely entirely on the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset for all Galaxy S25 models. While this ensures top-tier performance, it also ties Samsung to Qualcomm's pricing, making a price increase for the S25 series seem inevitable. The Snapdragon 8 Elite is no ordinary processor. It features two prime cores clocked at an impressive 4.32 GHz and six performance cores running at up to 3.53 GHz. Interestingly, it skips efficiency cores altogether, a trend we've also seen with MediaTek's Dimensity 9300 and 9400 processors. This design prioritizes raw power, delivering unmatched performance for gaming, multitasking, and more. While this powerhouse chipset is a technological marvel, its premium price tag is a key reason for the expected price hike. Looking ahead, the Galaxy S26 series could face a similar challenge in 2026. Samsung is pitting its hopes on the Exynos 2600, but if foundry yield issues persist, the S26 may also need to rely on Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors. This would again leave Samsung grappling with pricing challenges. It's worth noting that these struggles are not new for Samsung foundry. Just last year, Qualcomm had to move production of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 from Samsung's 4 nanometer node to TSMC, Due to low yields, the revised Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 offered better performance and efficiency, underscoring the gap between Samsung and its competitors. These production challenges also have broader implications. As of Key 3 this year, TSMC holds a dominant 64% market share in contract foundry space, compared to Samsung's 12%. This disparity puts immense pressure on Samsung foundry to improve its processes and close the gap. For consumers, here's the bottom line. The Galaxy S25 series is shaping up to be a powerhouse lineup thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. But delivering this performance comes at a cost, and that cost may translate into higher prices for the Galaxy S25 models. Samsung is walking a tightrope trying to stay ahead in the competitive smartphone market while balancing rising production costs and internal manufacturing hurdles. Whether consumers will accept the price hike for cutting-edge innovation remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. The stakes are incredibly high for the Galaxy S25 and S26 series. As we wait for the official launch, the big question is, will buyers embrace the higher price for the promise of unmatched performance and innovation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.